What's going on, family? It's your guy, Boro, the lucky Libra in the building, ready and willing to make a killing. Your boy looking so wavy, you might get seasick and need some penicillin, all right? So thank you for tuning in to another episode, all right, family? As y'all can see by the title, we're picking up the signs through the houses series, right, with Capricorn in that ninth house. I know I know. I keep taking these long-ass pauses during this series, y'all. Life be lifing, but the knowledge never stops, right? We ain't never stopping pursuing any form of gems, any form of knowledge out here, all right? So we right back to it, okay, guys? So uh, I appreciate the like, share, subscribes, all right? That don't even sound right. Subscribes, subscriptions, whatever. I appreciate y'all tapping in, okay, family? And uh, shout out to all my Taurus risings in the building, okay? Capricorn and Ninth House, shout out to all my Taurus risings in the building. You may be a Aries rising. You may be a Gemini rising. Yeah, you may be an Aries or a Gemini rising. All right. However, whether you're viewing this from a Placidus perspective or a, a or a um, whole sign perspective, this still applies. This energy still applies. All right, guys. Once again, um, you know, this is one placement in your chart. So you may be able to relate to a lot of the energies dealing with this placement. Or depending on certain other elements in your chart that may be that may have a relationship with this placement, a relationship with your ninth house, a relationship with the ruler of your ninth house, then you'll be able to, you know, analyze and observe how things play out differently for you. All right. So I appreciate you guys leaving comments. It helps me. I'm a lifelong student. All right. When it comes to astrology and spirituality. So, you know, when you guys give your feedback in the comments of how these things relate to you or whatnot, or when you just chime in with your opinion about these breakdowns, it helps me to understand a whole lot as well. All right, guys. So let's get right into it. Capricorn in the ninth house. Now, once again, when we're talking about the signs in the houses series, the houses in our natal chart represent areas of life. Okay. The sign that's in the house is a the, the zodiac signs represent frequency vibrations, right? So when you have a sign in that house, these are the things you are prone to experience. That, that constellation is going to bring certain influences into that area, okay? So it's not necessarily what you're doing, but based off the energies you're experiencing in this energy, it can start to manifest into certain characteristic traits you may have. All right, guys? So when we're looking at the ninth house, we're dealing with the house of enlightenment. This house represents our education education credentials. This is one of the more spiritually inclined houses in the Zodiac, all right? It deals with higher learning, educational pursuits. It deals with our experiences. This house rules our experiences. This is the home of Sagittarius. This is the home of Jupiter, all right? So we're dealing with spiritual expansion in this house. We're dealing with uh, long distance travel, you know, Areas and experiences outside of what's familiar to you are outside your third house, which is the opposite house, right? Your local surroundings, okay? We're dealing with college. We're dealing with advanced form of education. But with this being said, with it dealing with, with this being a spiritually inclined house, we're definitely dealing with, uh, you know, the development of our belief systems in this area, okay? We also can tie tradition and culture, culture into this house a bit as well. All right, guys? So. When we bring Capricorn into the ninth house, cardinal earth ruled by Saturn, all right? Cardinal earth ruled by Saturn. The first thing we need to understand with this placement is, you know, Saturn rules this house. <laughs> Saturn rules this house, all right? As soon as y'all hear that, y'all like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know, Boro. I know Saturn ruled this motherfucker. Can't stand his ass, okay? So y'all be easy on Saturn because there's a lot of ways we got to be able to learn how to use Saturn, utilize Saturn energy in this physical realm we're in. But Saturn definitely has a domain over this house. And with Saturn ruling this house, you must know what house Saturn is in. Because whatever house Saturn is in is going to have a huge influence on what area of life, what themes, what type of energies and influences you will naturally be intrigued to learn. OK, whatever influences hover around the ninth house, whether it's the sign in the house, whether it's what house the ruler of this house is in, what whether it's the element in this house, well, the sign in this house, the planets in this house. These are all things, all different facets, right, all different dynamics that's going to manifest into what you naturally like to pursue knowledge of. 
what you're naturally going to like to explore and experience in this lifetime. This is not anything that people have to force you to gain knowledge about it. You naturally go ahead and try to soak up as much as you can when it comes to these energies. All right. So you must know what house Saturn is in. Okay. Now, not only are you going to be naturally like to learn in the house a lot, uh, this is going to be a house that you're going to be able to find solutions for any issues within the educational department, any issues when it comes into travel, long distance traveling in your life. Okay. And you're also going to experience a lot in this house. You're going to experience a whole bunch in this house, wherever Saturn is at. If you got Capricorn in the ninth house. All right. This is to understand that you're always going to be having lessons and things being taught to you and probably attract a lot of mentors and culture, uh, coaches and guidance through that house. All right. So where do we start? Let's start with the basics. Let's start with the basics. Saturn. Saturn's ruling this house. What type of energy does Saturn represent? Discipline, structure, restraint, limitation, boundaries, foundation, stability, security. It's a serious energy. All right. Saturn is not, it's, it's damn near emotionless. Okay. And it's about practicality, it deals with reality. So people that have Capricorn in the ninth house, they may, they may naturally tie education to, toward, uh, they may look at education being the stepping stool towards what they develop in their reality. So whatever they pursue knowledge of, these are things that they feel like is going to help them to build their reality, help them to build more st stability and foundation in their life. All right. You know, Capricorn has that strong fatherly presence to it. So it's no, uh, you know, it's no surprise if your parents, especially the father figure in your life, is pretty adamant about, you know, your how you navigate your educational experiences in this life. They may be really adamant, really passionate, damn near forceful when it comes into you excelling when it comes into education. All right. Your father, your father may have some form of prestige when it comes into their knowledge and wisdom about something in some type of shape or form. Remember, Capricorn has a huge influence on status. Yes, we yes, we relate it to career, but status is one of the main things when we look at that Capricorn energy. That's why a lot of people that have a lot of Capricorn placements, they may they may want to be popular, famous, have some type of prestige, notoriety for something throughout their life. All right. It's coming from a Capricorn rise and Capricorn moon. Ever since I was young, I always wanted to be known for something, be popular for something. And I and I developed status in different areas of my life. So with Capricorn in the ninth house, these people may manifest situations where they create status based off their knowledge and wisdom, their skill for something, their expertise for something. Just I just said not uh, their pursuit of knowledge or their educational level directly correlates to how they feel like they can build. Uh, stability in their lives. So these people definitely may be devoted towards advanced education in, in order to support how they're going to build stability in their life. But, but on the other end of the spectrum, Saturn also deals with what? Restriction. And it deals with reality. So when you put a sign that deals with reality in, in a spiritually inclined house, like the ninth house, right? A house that deals with experiences and exploration. These people, you, you can see Taurus Risings being very devoted towards gaining certain credentials, you know, learning about certain things to build their st stability and support their career, um, their career path. But at the same time, these people, they can become detached from the matrix educational system. They can be, Capricorn has a strong detached energy, so they can become detached towards these things. I feel like they don't need these credentials, you know, and they could start working early in life. They may, they may feel like, all right, I got my GED, I got my high school diploma, fuck college, I don't need to deal with them debts, this, that, and the third. I, that's, that's too much time. Key word, time. Capricorn, Saturn, time. Rules time. That's too much time taken away from me just going to work now. As soon as I want to get out of high school, I'm going to just work now. <laughs> These people, Saturn, Capricorn going to bring a sense of restriction somewhere. The sense of restriction is, is, is to support you being efficient and stable in a certain area right so you don't take shortcuts so when you got capricorn in the ninth house uh there's a good chance that these individuals when it comes into the educational system 
there's a good chance that, you know, they may run into circumstances where whether it's a professor, whether it's a teacher, whether it's a certain program they wanted to do in school or something, and they could see these restrictions from time to time, either connecting with the professor, uh, you know, being a part of this program they want to be a part of, it's extracurricular activity, you know, it might be family responsibilities that get in the way of these things at times. Once again, fatherly influence may be very strong right here, okay? Um, so we can see these both, these two spectrums here, very devoted towards what they are learning and the credentials they're gaining in order to support their reality, support how they build stability, or they can get detached here and feel like, yo, this shit I'm learning in school, this shit ain't helping me with my reality in no way. Shit, with me talking about that, with Capricorn in the ninth house, there's a good sense that, there's a good chance that these people manifest situations where they're, because they got Capricorn, this influence dealing with how they look at education, they can manifest situations where, uh, you know, these these could be the students in middle school, high school. They're like, yo, teacher, what what the fuck does, what, what, what is this algebra shit going to help me with in life? How am I going to get money with this? How's geometry going to help me get money? It could be that this could be them right here, especially if, if Saturn's like in a if Saturn's like in a, a, a intellectual space, like the third house, you know, the eleventh house, you know, these houses make you think. These houses expand, you know, the mental body. Saturn got a nice aspect with Mercury. Saturn got a nice aspect with Jupiter. Saturn, uh, you know, a lot of these energies will make them question how things in the educational system in the matrix right because we're, we're there's different forms of learning we got learning in school learning in college your personal pursuit of knowledge and wisdom the things you look on youtube to learn the books you read the things that you learn when you go out and experience certain things in the world these are all different ways we, we learn in life life is a learning experience period all right that's why our spirit signed up for this to spiritually expand by coming down here and going through a lifetime of learning, doing different things, all right? This is what makes our spirit bigger. So, um, yeah, these people could just be really detached. <laughs> they could really look down upon the matrix and, and uh, the format of schooling, right? They may, they may, they may say that. They may say like the educational system is unrealistic or is this, that, and the third, you know. And that strong sense of reality, I don't want to say clash, but you have to learn how to integrate it here. Because Capricorn is a well, Capricorn is the next, the next house. So the tenth house is the Capricorn house. So it's 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 a neighbor sign. So it's not no real friction here for real. It's just that you bring in a sense of earth and reality, earth deals with stability into a uh, uh, a firehouse that deals with expression and spirituality. So this person could be very good for, you know, we already talked about getting those credentials through school in order to support how they gain stability. But, you know, when it comes into spiritual uh, pursuits, they want to use that shit to build their stability. They're not just going to float in the air with... uh. They're just, they're just not going to float in the air with spirituality and whatnot. How do I use, keyword Capricorn, I use, Saturn, I use, build. How do I use this knowledge and wisdom to build something in my life? So a lot of these individuals, especially if Saturn is like in an earth house, second, tenth, sixth house, these individuals are going to know when they know something that could be monetized, when they know something, when they have knowledge of some sort of value that they can give to others, some type of insight, guidance, experience, expertise, skill that they can use to build their stability. There's not, they're not going to need people to motivate them here for that. You know, eight out of 10 times, they can bring this understanding, they can find this understanding within themselves. Now, going back to Capricorn and dealing with status, uh, these individuals can, uh, they because remember status, prestige, notoriety, Capricorn traits, right? So there could be a certain level of prestige connected to their education and what they know. Almost a little bougie with it. Yes, I, uh, hold on. Yes, I graduated from Harvard. I have a, a PhD and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I've traveled abroad and, 
you know, worked on certain projects with certain professors around the world, and they can have that type of fucking influence with Capricorn in the goddamn ninth house. Get a little, almost get a little, I don't, it, it don't have to be to the extreme of them being big-headed and arrogant and boastful with their education, but understand, Capricorn in that ninth house, they have, if this individual, Taurus Rising, has some knowledge and wisdom that they know they have, some shit they know they know that other people don't know, or some shit that they know that they're experienced with, you're going to see a serious demeanor on how they express these things. You're going to see a serious demeanor with how they may express these things, especially if they got planets and cap. <laughs> um, you know, so it could be a, definitely a level of prestige with this person's educational credentials. Like I said, the, this placement can build a lot of status just simply based off what this person knows. All right. Um. Saturn deals with time. Capricorn deals with time. So wherever Capricorn Saturn at in your chart, you can't rush nothing there. You're forced to take your time. You're forced to be patient. So these individuals, when it comes into what they're studying, whether they want to go to med school and be a, a, a fucking heart surgeon, whether they're a Buddhist and they want to just live off the grid, meditate, and be one <laughs> with God, Either, either, either belief, either educational pursuit, spiritual pursuit, they can hold this over time. They can hold this over time. There's not going to be nothing they wishy-washy about here. Capricorn in the ninth house. You know? So if you see them at 21 studying spirituality, don't be surprised. When you see them at 30 years old and they're teaching spirituality, don't be surprised. When you see them at 40 years old and now they have a bunch of status and notoriety for their teachings dealing with spirituality. Or their teachings dealing with anything that they've been studying in this house. Like I said, wherever the ruler is at, wherever Saturn is at, this is some. This is going to be wherever the ruler of your ninth house is at is something that you may naturally have knowledge and wisdom about. You should have knowledge and wisdom about it. So let me think. My ninth house starts in Virgo, and my Mercury's in the tenth house. So when it comes into things dealing with marketing, platform, social media, you know understanding the the spiritual significance towards stability how currency is a is a it's a spiritual thing you know money is an energy thing like these are things i could talk about these are things <laughs> these are things that is attached to my belief system all right i talk about the 10th house all goddamn day all right so uh wherever that ruler is at for that ninth house you have knowledge and wisdom about it don't question it don't don't underestimate yourself here okay um like I said, fatherly influence may be a huge, uh, a huge thing here when it comes into your pursuit in the ninth house, whether they're whether your father or parents is in your life or not. So you may your father, your father may not even be in your life. And you may look at that as a motivation to become somebody with Capricorn in the ninth house. You know, I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna be this and a third, or I'm gonna learn this and I'm gonna develop this, or I'm gonna go on this path and I'm gonna. That, that could be somewhat of a push here, whether your father was behind you pushing you or whether you had to feel like you had to fill in some of your father's footsteps a bit because they have some prestige and notoriety with something, right? <coughs> or if they're not in your life. <coughs> Excuse me, God. Or they're not in your life and you use that as a spiritual push, as motivation to excel with something with your knowledge and wisdom and use that to build something, all right? Uh, just having Capricorn in the ninth house. These people can uh, naturally have a pursuit of knowledge, especially when it comes into any form of, if they do deal with advanced education, college or whatnot, uh, uh, grad school, or whatnot, you know, things dealing with the anatomy of the body, kinesiology, because Saturn, like, has an influence on the bones, the bone structure, uh, you know, physical training, PT. Capricorn has a sense of strength that's influenced with it. So they may learn about things with the body and end up in career fields or, ex or you know, environments where they can use their strength to help people dealing with physical training or they can help others to understand how to develop things within the body. You know, like I said, the, the anatomy, this may be something that they're already real, real curious about, all right, want to learn about here. Um, de dentists, dentists, 
So that's very important there. Uh, now, another important thing here is wherever Capricorn is at, it restricts. It could take time. So when it comes into the ninth house dealing with long distance traveling, ex exploration, experiences, you know, how you deal with responsibility, stability, how you take care of your debts, financial responsibility is very important with Capricorn in the ninth house because you not being on top of these things can create more restriction and limitation towards ninth house experiences here. So it's not, it's not by surprise if you're a Taurus rising Capricorn in the ninth house and you feel like you've dealt with restrictions being able to experience and explore certain things in your life. Whether it's going on vacation, whether it's just being outside of your third house. Like I said, it may be family responsibilities, financial responsibilities, or debts that you have to take care of in order to open up that opportunity to experience new things. We know Saturn don't play that, y'all. We know Saturn do not play that. So it could be almost a little annoying with Saturn in the ninth house with that sense of restriction when it comes to things you want to explore. But when you work on being disciplined in your life, when you work on being on top of certain responsibilities, especially financial responsibilities, you know, debts, things that you don't want to pile up to the point where now it's holding you back because you're catching up with a certain debt or a certain responsibility and you can't even pay attention towards, you can't even pay attention towards a vacation or doing something in the external because of that. So that's why you have to be, you, you got to be on top of your money management and how you deal with, you know, reality with Capricorn and Saturn in the ninth house because that's the influence that it may, it, that's the type of negative, uh, I don't even want to use the word negative for real. Because Saturn restricts not to, Saturn doesn't restrict to be an asshole. Saturn restricts to help you work more efficiently, build more of an efficient foundation with something. Okay? So that's very important there. Uh, these people can get a lot of notoriety for teaching. I know I kind of said that, but like actual like professors, actual teachers, they, they just I, I don't know what it is just Saturn in his ninth house. If these people pursue teaching, they just get known as known like shit for teaching. Like may not even be the most knowledgeable person in the world, even though if they do pursue if you do see a Taurus rising, that's a teacher. Just know with Capricorn in the, the ninth house, they're very they were very serious about learning what they're teaching. They they had sleepless nights trying to learn what the fuck they they're teaching about. They put in their hours. They put in time to have this knowledge. That's very that's very important to understand. Very important to understand here. It could be very hard workers with educational matters, or on the other end, they may just detach it to get to dealing with reality or pursue some form of knowledge on their per, on their own, which they deem as realistic in order to build their stability. So, like I said. It, they could drop out of high school or they could not choose. They could choose to not go to college because they feel like if I learn this and a third, if I put myself in this environment or if I get this, uh, what you call those things when you're like working somewhere, but you're not getting paid this um, internship or something, it'll give me the knowledge and wisdom to go ahead and build and stabilize this and a third. You know, so they can have that approach. Because once again, depend, they may not view all forms of education as something realistic like they need. With Capricorn in that ninth house. But yeah, they're very serious about their education. They don't play about that shit. It can be naturally tied to their status in some type of shape or form. This person can have a lot of status for what they know, their knowledge, their wisdom, their experience with something. This energy has a strong public speaking influence because Saturn brings that sense of seriousness. Saturn can have a, a Capricorn, like I said, it, it can bring a strong stage presence. The ninth house already kind of deals with public speaking in a way because it deals with expression of your knowledge and wisdom so what do we usually book people to public speak about something that they know something that they have insight or guidance about a motivational speaker inspirational speaker these are ninth house themes inspiration <laughs> knowledge and wisdom so if you have capricorn here it can be a, a certain level of prestige it could be a certain level of stage presence these people have when they express themselves when they express what they know Okay. But for the most part, that's Capricorn in the ninth house family. Please note, please locate that Saturn placement and understand the, the ideas and the 
awareness that you have of the things in that house Saturn is in is not by default. You know what you know here. You've experienced certain things here. With Capricorn in the ninth house, uh, themes of discipline, time management. These are things that you will be taught. The easy way, I, I don't know if there's an easy way to teach discipline and structure but, uh, and time management, but the smoother way, I would say, or something, or the hard way. And usually wherever Capricorn and Saturn is at, you usually got to learn things the hard way there. Okay? So, uh, and these people can be very knowledgeable with things dealing with, uh, like anything dealing with reality. Real estate, finances, stocks, crypto, in uh, different ways to gain income, entrepreneurship. Yes, these are all things that these people can be inclined with and have knowledge and wisdom about. All right? So, family, I didn't even, I, I try to keep these videos a little short, but some, it's just, listen, we about to be a half hour in. It's just what it is sometimes, guys. Shout out to all my Taurus risings. Once again, you might be an Aries or a Gemini rising, all right? But if you got Capricorn in the ninth house, shout outs to y'all, all right? Appreciate y'all tapping in, okay? Appreciate the likes, shares, and the subscriptions, helping to build the community up. And next, we're going to pick it up with who we got, Aquarius, Aquarius in the ninth house. And then we almost done with the ninth house, and we moving right on to the tenth house. I know y'all been waiting for the tenth house. Y'all been leaving comments like, Boro, come on. Let's, can we get to the tenth house already? So we're going to get right into it. And, it's, and everything works in divine timing because we're about to jump into the tenth house, and we, we're in Capricorn season right now. So we're on perfect timing. All right? All right, family. <laughs> Until next time, peace.